what up? Mortal Kombat 1, Sindel character breakdown. Let's do this. I'm so hyped for Mortal Kombat 1, dude. It's not fight. Right, so let's start with some of Let's go. Two cool things about her in this game is she has these cool VFX. Okay. God damn. Like purple energy and then the use of her hair. Oh, shit. Absolutely. Chill, Ryan. She has a really good range, as you'd imagine, someone with magical long hair. Oh, my lord. And there's a couple normal ones I really wanted to talk about. First is Ford 4, which kind of takes out of the page of the last game. And it's like kind of her main mid range. She hit the split stop there? To get in. And that's a mid, right? Yes. And it's pretty quick, but it has a really neat new follow up. So she jumps into the air. Down boy. Blast, okay. The combo starter. And she can actually control how far she goes. She can do the close version. And actually land right in front of them. Far version. Shit's lit, dude. Or she could just do it by itself. Go in for a throw. Go I'm broke. Okay. Thank you. Go for this cool low. Dude, the combos are insane. Or one of her block strings. Another normal is Might be my two. main character. I she cannot lie. Overhead, and she can combo into it, or you can do back two by itself and actually be airborne. Let's go over the special moves. We'll start okay. With We're switching to special moves. The classic, the screen, the iconic. Ah! It's still one of her best combo starters. It stuns. They can't hear anything for a while. Yeah, I couldn't hear anything for a second. Kind of do it at mid -range if you think Those frequencies are not good. Sleeping, not blocking. Like I said, it's great to hit confirm. Nice. It's just, punish. Exactly. I just right. throw it out all the time. All the Pause. Time. Throw it out. What, what is he talking then about? Let's go over fireballs, which are always one of the most important kind of key things about her offense. She has high That's hairball. lit. Low hairball. Okay. In High and low. Yes, that's canonical. Hairball. <laughs> and then air hairball. So like a mid. It's a straight, very quick fireball. It is not the downward arc it has previously done. You can do it really low to the ground. Interesting. Quick, and I think it's pretty effective. You With just spam guy. this thing. Holy <laughs> shit. Her EX versions have some interesting properties. So. Okay. Great one. Oops. Oh, hold one. up. We'll actually eat up fireballs. So Yo. Zone zoning war, you'll actually beat out their projectile. And the low one. Holy hit. shit. So she adds that little hair whip at the beginning. And up close, Dude, she's actually insane. Actually a hit that will pop them up. Who's in the corner? You can do cool stuff. Like Oh, hold up. They're going to hit it. Oh, hold up. You got this. There we go. Dear God. I still have it. <laughs> I, I think it's good. Thank you. So it kind of cracked of their mind, whoever's playing. Zoning tool up close into One of the developers. <laughs> so two different ways you can use it. Exactly. Both equally cool. You can also use that with your mix-ups. Okay. To the next tool, her cartwheel. The overhead. Straight Hit that cartwheel. If you exit, it has armor. It's really good up close. It's great as a wake-up attack. You can use it after moves like this. Mike Lord. With low, her sweep, and a really fun down three. Look at that. So, like, for me, when I play against you, you really have to be paying attention because one of the moves has is a mid, the other is uh, an overhead. Exactly. They look different, but you, have to yes. you, can't just, you can't be on autopilot. Right. Okay. Lastly, Makes sense. She has the classic levitate. She teleports. Oh my god. She drop straight down. So, like for example, you're trying to zone. We can scanning mo fireballs to go under your hairball. Not very effective. And then pull up on them like that. And you're literally not touching the ground. Right. She can also cancel it, and she can do fun cancels. Like for example. She could do the back two. The airborne go in your flight. And if you eat oh, yeah, that's clean. And then you dodge the low pretty much when you use that. Oh, my God. Now, let's talk about how this can play into her cameo. I have chosen. Oops, set it to all. Who's our cameo? I have chosen Serena. Who's Serena, okay. Up in the last trailer, but now we're actually going to show her moves. So her first attack 
is the blade. It's a very quick projectile. You can see the cooldown is pretty quick. That's actually pretty good for how fast it is as a cameo. Kia's blades. She goes full demon. Damn. Multiple. They come back. What that tail do? This hey, actually yo. leads into combos. So you can do fun stuff. You can turn that into a full combo. Yeah, because you set him out and then you pull him back in, then you continue the combo. Wow. Really good up in the air. Yes. In a lot yeah, of ways. In a I lot mean, of yeah. ways. She also has the demon up kick, which is a great wake up attack. It's invincible. It's really quick. You can also use it as an anti air. Okay. And then lastly, she has a fourth move. Every cameo has at least three, and mm -hmm. some might have more. So she's one of those. Jakarta's Jik Curse. She puts this rune on the ground, and while the opponent is standing in it, okay. let's set it to default. Liu Kang's meter is being drained pretty, pretty quick. Yeah, pretty Yo. Yeah. Now, this is an ambush move. Yeah, the meter rob there. While Sindel's doing other actions. So, for example, while you have a combo going, you can summon her. Oh, yeah. No, that's filthy. Oh, there's a lot of setups there. Yeah, so you can imagine you can... Yeah, that's cracked. That's actually cracked. Oh, we got to watch this whole ad. Shout out Final Fantasy VII. Great game. The boy Cloud, though. Okay. The screen is currently under development. All right. Why are you looking at me like that, though? What'd I do? That in the corner, mm -hmm. in the middle of your combo, have her coming out, drain your meter, stuff like that. She could even do nasty stuff like drain your meter so you can't break a combo in the middle of your combo. She's not Wait, like break what? She does not, which is... Let's something. Let's uh, maybe get into that a little bit more. So, let's go back. Switching to up all the settings. Sindel has a couple of moves using the cameo system. So you know, Sindel in the lore, she's the queen. She has this commanding presence. She yep. has, you know, what the kids would say is Riz. Oh, uh, they would say that. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Thank you. And you know, she could use that to actually command her cameo and maybe more. So let's start with. This buff move, once you activate it, while it's active, cooldown it will be significantly faster for your cameo. So you can see normally this move's already pretty quick. Once she has this active, it's even quicker, and Serena, she is recovering so fast her cooldown, she could basically do that. Oh like, my lord. Indefinitely. Dude, the depth of this character is crazy. Kind of a limited use move into something that you can just use almost like any other special move. Or some of the other ones, like Kia's Blades, that have a pretty long cooldown. It's significantly faster when she has that active. Now she's giving herself up there. Correct. There is some, there, yeah. Correct. But once she gets going, her cameo mm -hmm. use is substantially better. There's also an EX version with a really interesting twist. When she EX it, She's now commanding the opponent's cameo, and if the opponent tries to break, <laughs> they will be stunned, and you get a reset instead. Yo, so let's that's kind of that clutch. Again. I have the move active. Right. The opponent goes for a break, and you can see Sonya actually is like. Yeah, Sonya literally. And, you know, oh my god, I'm confused. And your breaker is not just disabled. Once you get that stun, they will be popped up and Sindel gets a full free That's stun. crazy, dude. No breakers allowed. A couple ways to, to avoid them. Seems yes. like her. There's also another really interesting move I'd like to show. So for this one... Sindel can take control of an opponent's cameo and stun them. So, for example. Oh, yeah. Just sent her away. Oh, my gosh. Dizzy. Yep. If Sindel is in the middle of doing this move, where she points, while the cameo is out, mm -hmm. so you have to do it on a read. The cameo is stunned for this entire length of time and cannot be summoned. That's okay. actually cracked. There's also an EX version. With this version, 
Sony will leave the screen and I gain control of her. And I actually get a free use of either of the cameo's moves of my choosing. So That's example, crazy. I now have square wave. And, and that you, use of you can cameo, pick any of them. Correct. It's not just any the one they're doing. Moves. Right. Got I have control over it for a pretty good amount of time and it does not cost any kind of cooldown or anything. That's I could insane. Do stuff like I could summon Sonya to start leg grab to go into a combo and then go into Serena's um, demon like anti air move to end the combo if I wanted. You could even use three cameo moves in one combo if you wanted. To. My God. Have some fun in training mode on this one. Yeah, it's it's really really neat and it's something that's gonna you know. How effective and the way you use it is going to change on what the opponent's cameo is. Got it. Interesting. Cool. Yeah. Um, do we want to do we want to do fatal blow? Is that I all? I think that's the best way we can finish, Let's right? Let's do it. Must do it. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. The big wow. Oh well, we've seen this one. This one's crazy. Oh. Okay. Yep. I'm excited.